Hello Leo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you as always. We're looking at the 24th to the 30th of October 2022. Let's see what we have for our lovely Leos, please. Thank you, that card wanted to come out. We have healing, some healing maybe. We'll see what that is about. Let's pull an Archangel Michael card. What do we have for Leo, please, is the message for the week, Angels. Message for Leo. What is the message for Leo? Thank you. Message for Leo. Thank you. Leo, we have difficult thing to do. Number five, be honest with yourself. All your feelings, even the difficult ones, have a message for you. Accept the truth, then let Source take it from there. Okay. Let's see what we have with the cards. What do we have for Leo, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Leo for the week, thank you. Message. For Leo for the week. Overarching energy first, thank you for Leo. We have the Four of Swords, which can actually be linked with healing. The Knight of Swords. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, Ace of Cups, and we have the Sun. There's a feeling of liberation here. So the Four of Swords, Leo, is your overarching energy. Take a step back. Could be to see how to bring healing to a situation because this can be a very healing energy or the potential of that. This feels like someone has felt lack. And there's There is a conversation here or an opportunity for a conversation because I don't think it's been happening yet with the Ten of Pentacles, long-term committed relationships, marriage, long-term stability and security. This feels like somebody has been thinking about really putting down roots with another person. It would be somebody who is important to you, somebody who you have been connected to for a while you know the six of cups is a really deep love energy a soul connection somebody who you have history with nostalgia with memories with now this could also be family you know this could be healing a family rift or it could well be bringing healing within a relationship here is what i'm getting so let's clarify the ten of pentacles and the knight of swords We have the Eight of Cups, walking away. Somebody wants to reconnect to somebody who walked away. 
let's uh, clarify the five of pentacles and the six of cups the high priestess trusting your intuition six of cups with the ten of wands Let's do the sun. Hmm. This feels like uh, this is the Ace of Cups again. Emotional rebirth, emotional renewal, healing. Yeah, Page of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a feeling here, Leo, a conversation, there's a, there's a worry about somebody walking away. So this person knows that a conversation needs to be had about long-term commitment of a relationship. And that's what I'm getting here. This is the energy here. Somebody has, it may walk away, and that's why somebody's saying, okay, I need to have this conversation about long-term committed relationships, marriage even, because somebody is about someone, it looks like somebody wants to walk away. Why does somebody want to walk away? Why does somebody want to walk away? The four of pentacles, yeah. Because somebody won't give, so they're not, someone's not giving, they're only prepared to go so far. They won't step into the unknown and step up and move past the comfort zone. That's the energy here. Yeah, this is an energy of some, a conversation needs to be had about long-term commitment. Now that could be buying a home together, moving in together, having children, even adopting of some kind. You know, it's, it's whatever the other person has wanted because there's definitely an energy of someone deep down, they know that the other person feels lack. This is somebody who is really important to you that you've had a lot of time with. You know, this is memories, nostalgia, a significant relationship, and they feel lack. Somebody feels lack. They're not getting what they want out of the relationship, and they're being made to feel lack because one person isn't giving the other person what they want to feel fulfilled, whatever that thing is. This could be you, this could be the other person, however this reads. I always read first person, but again, it could be vice versa here, certainly in terms of relationships. This is the Knight of Pentacles is slow, 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 slow. Sometimes sometimes feels like stagnation energy. Now, the, the Ten of Wands with the Six of Cups, it's about releasing, but this feels like past history. I feel like the person who has been reluctant to move past the comfort zone... It's about stepping out of the comfort zone this week. This is somebody who has past history and past baggage and it's they've been carrying it with them. This is an energy of surrender it. Surrender it if this person is important to you and offer them, offer them the love. So this is either you're gonna get offered what you want, love, an opportunity to start anew. And there's a real kind of like positive light happiness joy celebration successful beautiful energy with the the sun card because this is a message to give this person what they want be prepared to you know move past the comfort zone and liberate from whatever stopped this person doing that in the first place this is an offer and a message that's taking its time to appear but this is finally offering the commitment that the other person wanted and there's healing I mean, this is the energy here. I feel there's a process here of somebody has been carrying baggage. I mean, fair enough, you know, it looks like they've been scarred from some kind of past experience here and they've been carrying that with them ever since, which is a heavy load to carry. And there's a strong energy here, a spirit saying, liberate, liberate from this because we, you have an opportunity for real happiness, the sun. So liberate from whatever's gone before. That's the energy that I'm getting quite strong because there's real happiness on this path if you want this person, if you want to keep this person in your life. 
that's what I have for the week. Leo, I'm going to pull you a final message. It, it's almost like, and I'm, I'm, you know, no judgments here, but the message that I'm, I'm getting really quite strongly is this person has wanted their cake and eaten it in the sense that they don't want to go the extra mile. They're happy with the way things are, but they fully know that the other person isn't happy in this equation intuitively, and they know that it's time to step up. I mean, that's the energy that I'm getting. Okay. Whether it's conscious or not, you know. But I think past experiences have an it's It's really putting to bed old ghosts, I feel. Okay, we have protection. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon his spiritual work. Yeah, deep down, this is an energy of you know what you need to do to protect what's important to you. Again, you or the other person. That's what I have for you for the week, Leo. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a lovely week and I will see you next time.